Hey guys, today we are going to talk about a card. It is a land card that has now gone over $12. A lot of you may not be familiar with this card, but it is becoming an EDH staple. So it is not playable in modern, and it's not strong enough in legacy. But in EDH, it might just be okay. Especially since it is counter themed. Remember, a lot of cards with the ability to put counters on them, take off counters, double counters, has been very popular in EDH. So this card has also gone up in popularity because you can put multiple counters on it extremely fast. So City of Shadows, uh, this is from the Dark. The Dark was not a good time for Magic the Gathering. And I believe the only card of value in the set besides this one right now is Blood Moon. So you tap it, you sacrifice one of your creatures, but you remove it from the game instead of placing it into your graveyard. You put a counter on City of Shadows. Now, with so many different effects that allow you to double, triple, or plus one your counters, you're never going to do it for one counter. You're always going to get two, maybe three, maybe four, and then you can double your counters using a lot of cards in EDHs. Too many to name here. So you tap it, add X colorless mana to your mana pool, where X is the number of counters on City of Shadows. So City of Shadows, very interesting card. Very good right now with the amount of counter manipulation. And hence, this is why the card is has spiked up in price. It wasn't always, it was never a bulk card. It was always around $2.50, but it was not a $12 card. And the liquidness of the card was very, very small. Meaning you were not going, if you had these in your trade binder, the amount of people who wanted to trade for them is not high. Today, it is much, much higher than it was just you know a month ago. So this card is a card to look out for it is a card that I would recommend picking up if you can get it for affordable, relatively cheap, pre-spike price. And it's a card that not too many people know of, but very, very good. And the 88 decks that manipulate counters, double their counters, triple the counters, you know what decks I'm talking about. Uh, they printed a new commander, which is all about the counters. And this one produces a ton, a ton of colorless mana in that deck. So anyway, leave me a comment below. Do you guys like this card? Do you dislike it? Do you feel like it's worth $12? Do you feel like it's worth less? Maybe more. Anyway, leave me a comment below. Bye guys.